Hello everyone, welcome to this video. It's Farron here from uh, Miniatures Among Us and uh, to continue this uh, tutorial um, I'd like to show you how I'm going to paint this Tyranid and the body. We've covered the arms and the basics of uh, how we actually uh, paint this particular miniature. So uh, I'm going to crack on now and show you how we do everything else. So just like before, you start off with your blue, what you previously mixed up and it's uh, to a consistency of water, it's very thin, but still high pigmented. So we're just going to go over the carapace the best we can and keep the brush moving so we avoid any dry water lines. So you just continue in this fashion. all the way down his back and on the other side remembering to stop any of the pooling because that's a nightmare um, I'm going to run these videos at, 50, uh, at uh, 30 minutes so you guys can get the gist of what I'm waffling on about If you go too dark in one side, just go over it with the bristles where you're just hardly, hardly you know, touching the surface with it. Because this layer on the top is already dried. And I'm putting in my deeper shade now. I'm just going to all blend it in nicely. I also like to clean the brush and prep it ready like that so that um, the next stage there'll be no problems. Well, I hope there'll be no problems, he says. But we're just bringing the Necron Abyss down. Avoiding any heavy pooling. Because around about the third layer, fourth layer, we'll be um, putting some definition. moving down the model. I also find that um, using Rackart Flesh is a very good universal base colour for applying this technique to almost any model. But um, I've got uh, some Blood Angels that I need to demonstrate as well and see if this method will also work on it as well. Try to be as careful as possible not to get any paint on any other parts of the model. He says, and he gets some paint on the leg. Never mind. Let that brush rest for a bit. When you're using a smaller brush like this, instead of a thicker brush, to avoid any um, like lines, you sort of like overlap the brush over the, the previous um, stroke, so that um, you eliminate as many brush strokes as possible. It doesn't matter so much when you get to the bottom here. And don't worry about painting underneath the plates over here 
on this side because we'll shade it later. Okay, I'm just going to touch up where I've missed. Okay. Lovely. stain this area here because this part of the body is connected to the carapace and we're just gonna put in this mark here to make it look like it's the pigment of the shell is leaking into the bone I'm not really gonna see it but it helps it helps and just tidy up there okay so now what we're gonna do on this part of the carapace is at the top here I'm gonna start Pretty much halfway down. Do that. Clean the brush, and then quickly, with it just a damp, wet brush, no paint, blend it into the top. Like that. So you get. Some sort of transition. You probably can't see it at the moment. I can, but um, we just need to build it up as we go along, and we'll just repeat that for the second side as well. Reason we blend this in with a damp, wet brush is to eliminate that hard edge. Like so. Got a little white spot there. Missed that one. And in this recess here, okay, this part here, I'll just point just there. Okay, we are just going to darken that up. Let that dry, and we'll go back to it again. Yeah, and then all we do then, we just carry on going down the model. pushing that hard edge away. Once you get used to it, you fly through this. I'll just repeat the same for the other side. Is basically the colours for my army. Learn to start learn to play after Christmas. Okay, so we should start seeing a transition, there you go. So I'm going to repeat that process all the way down the rest of the plates. So we've got one layer on here, I want two, so we'll just cover these quickly.
think I'll better add some music to this vid. <laughs> Sorry for the spell of silence there. Okay, that's that part done. <clears throat> I'm just going to let that dry. While that's drying, we're just going to move on to the front here. And basically just do the same as we did on the back. someone comment on one of my other videos saying that you make it all look so easy um, yeah <laughs> no seriously it's just practice you know as they say practice makes perfect and and I've just been dabbling in a lot of techniques see what I'm comfortable with and I really like this one So I, I plan to basically stick with this. Excuse my shaking. Getting on now. There we have it. I just want to put a little bit more on there. So I'm going to move on to the um, thigh, the thigh armor plates, and again we're just going to go over it all rather quickly. and clear up any pooling as you go. Okay, that's the first layer done. Should just let that dry now. Okay, turn to the back and start on this bit now. See, it doesn't take that long to dry, which is pretty good. I'm just going to put these in quickly. No, my luck, it's probably going to take me a bloody year to paint an army. <laughs> the rate I'm going at. This stage is purely just getting the model ready for the glazes. I think I probably said that in the previous video.
and we can see, you know, it's starting to show a bit of life in it now. I mean, you can go as light or as dark as, as this, and you can choose whatever colors. Just experiment. Don't be afraid to, you know, paint something and you th you've worried you're going to make a balls up of it. Because at the end of the day, you can, you can just start again, just paint over it, clean it off. If you don't try these things, you're not gonna, not gonna learn. So, what I'm trying to say is, don't be afraid to try new things. I'm just starting to put some shadows in here now. Get this a bit darker around it in this corner because the crest is going to be shadowing it. Alright, so that's the back finished. Okay, for now. Uh, that I'll be wait that's just waiting now to dry thoroughly and basically for me to put in uh, more details in after. at the bottom underneath shoulder plate armpit just put some blue in there just marry those edges up together Right, I almost finished the carapace. Okay, I saw the blue done in this video. Next video is going to be the actual uh, skin. And once the skin's completed, we'll move on to the glazes. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. And um, remember to hit the like button and share amongst your friends. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next installment. Bye.